hello friends and um, today um we are going to have um, another uh, inno innovative cooking and i'm going to do rice today um the reason why it's innovative is because i'm not using the normal rice that we all know and um, the rice i'm going to use is brown unpolished rice brown unpolished rice this is how it looks like brown unpolished rice we have had two types of this uh, uh, rice uh, there is one that is cleaned which is this is one of it this is how it looks like it's clean and another one that is unclean uh, that has got stones and some dirt in it so if you want to cook um the, uh, the unclean ones that means you will have to wash it and it is washed in a different way if you don't know how to wash it then you end up cooking rice with bits of stones in in it and you don't want that but that type of rice the unclean one i heard that it is the tastiest it is the one that tastes better so if you want to explore into that then you get that one clean it learn how to clean it and it's done differently maybe i'll have to show you how to do that in another video this brown rice or unpolished rice is not very popular it's not very popular it is popular um with um uh, people living in thailand part of asia and in africa to uh people uh, who live in um, like Sierra Leone and um, Mali, you know, Southern Sahara, not all Africans know this type of rice. Not all of us know this type of rice, but it is tasty and it's delicious, nutritious, and it has got this content because all the vitamins are packed in the rice it hasn't been washed away so today we are going to cook um, a Malian Mali uh, style of jollof rice it is not only Mali also Sierra Leone Gambians and others they all cook this type of rice in a different way it is jollof it's another kind of jollof but it is cooked in a different way so uh, this is how um, it's going to be this is the rice the rice we are going to use we will also need tuna tuna you know uh, the people of Mali West Africa passes through their country and they are mainly fishermen farmers and fishermen so um most of their cooking you have they have fish in it so this rice is going to be eaten with fish so um here is tuna here is a large onion we will need pepper pepper powdered pepper and then as i said fish again these are dried fish dried fish and well you can add um, garlic if you want you can add garlic if you want and then you need a good oil you know with the uh, Malians and Sierra Leoneans and the Gambians they will use shea butter and shea butter is also a very good um, cooking oil now we see this uh, share butter in the uh, uh, for their skins and things like that yes it can also be used in cooking and they are nutritious it's as nutritious as the uh, uh, olive oil i don't even know why it hasn't been popular in that direction so uh, but i don't have share butter now so i'm going to use olive oil to do my cooking so um, i hope you enjoy our cooking today it is going to be nice and i hope that you and the family you will try it not just watch but try it and if you find this video 
very interesting please subscribe more of interesting innovative cooking are on the way so thank you and see how i get on yeah so that's it that is the brown unpolished rice it's not polished so it's packed with vitamins mm. they should the restaurants should start cooking this putting this on their menu you know instead of cooking uh, putting the white rice on the menu they can put this type of rice on the menu yeah yeah so yeah hello my friends um i'm going to begin this cooking by first preparing my fish yeah this is mackerel mackerel i'm going to prepare it i'm going to bake this mackerel and it has to be spicy because we like spicy food so it's going to be spicy so that is a piece of mackerel then i will add a pinch of salt salt sprinkle salt on it make sure that it has gone into every part of the fish and then our spice peppercorns plenty well it depends on your taste actually it's how you want it but uh, we are we we want ours a bit spicy so there we have there we go peppercorn then i will add a little bit of powdered garlic this is powdered garlic powdered garlic it will give it a beautiful beautiful taste and lastly I will put a little bit of mixed hair and also just a little bit a tip of um, sauce Maki and uh, fish cube. So I just put some of it, not all, just some. Sprinkle some on it. So this is what we've got. Yeah. I'm going to this fish has is oily already. If it were to be any other fish i will pour a little bit of um, olive oil on it but mackerel is oily so i'm not going to put any oil on it what i will do is to fold this and then stack it in the oven for 25 minutes there we go in the oven for 25 minutes we want to eat our rice with spicy baked mackerel so there you go it's going into the oven for 25 minutes yeah. it's olive oil as i said the malian people or sierra leone or gambian people would use sheer butter they will use shea butter and those in uh, northern Ghana will use shea butter but uh, we don't have shea butter, shea butter here or shea butter is not used for cooking in this part of the world so I'm using olive oil so um, now I'm going to put in fry the onion fry the onion You see that there is not too much oil in it. Some people like oil. 
put oil, putting oil into their cooking and um, it's not actually right people say that if you use virgin uh, olive oil that's okay you can use as much but oil is oil yeah oil is oil so just um just a reasonable amount of oil will do reasonable amount of oil so we will fry this until it's brown yeah our onion is brown now so I'm going to put in the dry ingredient first, the dry ingredient. So we have uh, the dry fish. Um, of course, uh, we will call tofu you are, tofu you are. Uh, Ghanaians call to call it tofu you are because, uh, and that kind of fish, that kind of dry fish um, is always um, imported into the country from Mali. Tofu you are comes from Mali. So um, we don't have to fewer here, so I have used uh, a different version of fish for this particular dinner. Then also pepper. In fact, although uh, it's spicy, remember that we have put spice in the, in the fish, so we don't need a lot of that here. We don't need a lot of uh, spice here. Oh, the smell. It smells good. It smells nice very nice so now I will put my tuna tuna will go in I have I forgot to put my garlic garlic powder yeah. so, when you are cooking, don't forget to put your garlic powder. It makes the food delicious and nice. And a little bit of um, mixed herb. is to put salt. You will put salt into what we are putting now. Salt. And you don't put too little. So now we have two types of brown rice. We have clean one and unclean one. This is the clean one. So it's going to go into the Right into the uh, mixture now, and then oh, the smell smells smells so nice. That's brown rice. It should be served in restaurants. It should be something that you go to the restaurant and said, please serve me brown rice. And when we say brown rice, we mean um, polished brown rice. It has got all the nutrients, all the vitamins, vitamins in it. And we want to do that. We want to benefit from that. I haven't forgotten my cube. It is fish cube because I used fish. It's fish I'm using to cook. So we want that fish flavor. We want fish flavor. So now we will pour some water into our mixture. Not plenty, just enough to cover the rice. Just 
just enough to cover the rice. Then I will test it and see if the soil and the salt is enough. Now uh, leave to boil for 20 minutes and on low heat. Uh, so I am going to reduce this. It's now on nine. I'm going to reduce it to four. To four. If you served it at the restaurant, people will order it. It's decent. It's nutritious. You know? It has got all the things that you, our bodies require. So please include it on the menu so that when we go to uh, Nando's, we can order this. When we go to Harvesters, we can order this. But, uh, whichever... Um, restaurant we go you should be able to order this huh? that is baked mackerel spicy baked mackerel Thank you. And if you find this interesting, if you've loved the journey, please subscribe. How do you find this dish. The father, I can eat. I can't even let my head up. Means that I'm enjoying it so much. Wow, so you like it. Mm.